Hi guys. It is another spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in the Point Lonesome Swamp, deep in the oasis of freedom here on this glorious, it is now Wednesday, I think we've come up to January 12th, 2022, and uh, anyway, as you may be aware, several versions of this story this gang, the World Economic Forum. Uh, not 100% sure who the, the World Economic Forum is. It's basically part of that, as George Carlin would call it, that big club and you ain't in it gang. Uh, the World Economic Forum, which is meeting this week kind of opening up uh, they're kind of the opening act for the Davos boys meeting in uh, Switzerland next week and uh, so each year they they come out with this report basically about the reasons uh, why we're so doomed on this planet you know with their global risk assessment uh, right now I have this wind risking the uh, quality of my, man the wind, the, the damn wind hadn't blown all day and then I get out here and here comes the wind. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this out and uh, hopefully you can hear a little bit of what I'm saying, although nothing of it's to be a surprise. So uh, we're going to listen to what the World Economic Forum uh, has to say, sounding more and more like uh, Collapse Chronicles uh, here, where the, you know, the, the, some of the architects of the global industrial economy who are the ones whose members and policies are responsible for the biggest global risks facing the planet uh, in 2022. Uh, it's kind of like Sancho Panza uh, putting out a report that squirrels are in danger uh, here in the Point Lonesome Swamp. The reason why squirrels are in danger is because Sancho Panza is here in the swamp, which is kind of like the World Economic Forum uh, giving out the you know the reasons why this planet is in danger is because of people like the World Economic Forum. Uh, anyway, I think you get my point. So there are many versions of this uh, story. Well, I was going to look at the one from good old Time Magazine, but I'm just going with this one from Yahoo Finance, looking at this report of global risks, and it is titled, uh, Climate Failure and Social Inequality Top Global Risks for 2022 and I'm just gonna jump ahead to their cute little uh, dots looking at the top 10 long-term global risks facing this planet according to the World Economic Forum all right uh, number I, I I don't know if this is in a particular order, though I, I think it might be. All right, number one, climate action failure. Uh, number two, extreme weather, kind of going uh, hand in hand with that first one. Number three, biodiversity loss. Number four, natural resource crises that is plural you know most of the crises 
being caused by the policies of the World Economic Forum and its uh, planet eaters making it up. Okay, number five, which I would put as number one because it, in, it, it encompasses the other nine, human environmental damage. Human environmental damage coming in at number five, number six, social cohesion erosion. There's a, uh, yep, I, I guess uh, that would be a natural outflow of human environmental damage. Uh, number seven, involuntary migration. Involuntary migration, I guess that is probably uh, I, I, I don't know what their definition of involuntary migration. Anyway, number eight, adverse tech advances. Adverse tech advances. The, these various, uh, I, I, I don't know what I would really like to see this one all broken down. Uh, what some of those would include. Uh, that could get me off on my another rant. Uh, number nine, geoeconomic confrontation. Geoeconomic confrontation. Don't don't you love uh, the, these euphemisms for uh, for war? Geoeconomic confrontations. And next to that, geopolitical resource contestation. Geopolitical resource contest contestation. Coming in at number 10, can you say the growing threat of resource wars? Uh, that's another, that's a fancy word for resource wars. Okay, so let's break this down according to Yahoo Finance. <clears throat> the, ongoing the ongoing climate crisis and social inequality are the top global risks for this year, a new report has revealed. According to the World Economic Forum's latest global risks report, climate risks dominate the short-term concerns as the world enters the third year of the corona panic and also remains the biggest long-term threat facing humanity. So these various risks with climate breakdown topping the short-term and the long-term risks uh, facing, um, facing the planet uh, by climate risks include climate action failure, extreme weather risks, biodiversity loss, natural resource crises, and human environmental damage. Uh, the report in its 17th year is published in partnership with March McLennan Zurich Insurance Group and SK Group and ranks the biggest risks facing the world as judged by global risk experts and uh, decision makers. Um, in a, risk experts warn that failure to act on climate change could shrink global GDP by one-sixth, and I guess they mean this year, this is for 22, adding that the commitments taken at COP26 in, in November are still 
not enough to achieve, you know, this bullshit one and a half C goal. So then they do uh, spend a few minutes talking about the bad hair day, which doesn't make the top 10, that uh, Corona Panic, uh, <clears throat> Corona Panic, and its economic and societal consequences, meaning the overreaction, you know, the panic surrounding the virus, also continue to pose a threat to the world. Uh, as uh, uneven economic recovery risk compounding social fractures and geopolitical tensions. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, anyway, so they deal with the bad hair day, which is going on, but nowhere in, in the top ten. Uh, but don't forget, we still have the bad hair day and the knock on uh, from that to deal with. Uh, <clears throat> the report further revealed the top short-term global concerns include heightened cyber threats, which are now growing faster than the ability to eradicate them permanently. There you go. And don't forget societal divides livelihood crises and mental health deterioration. The mental health deterioration, my guess is uh, that one is due to the corona panic. The, uh, because you better believe the uh, planet is a hell of a lot more mentally ill than any other way of ill. Uh, <clears throat> don't forget a growing dependency on digital systems intensified by the corona panic has also altered societies. Uh, quoting the report, over the last 18 months, industries have undergone rapid digitalization. Workers have shifted to remote working where possible, and platforms and devices facilitating this change have proliferated. At, that, at the same time, cybersecurity th threats are growing. In 2020 alone, malware and ransomware attacks increased by 358% and 435% respectively. Close quote. Other challenges the data highlighted were higher barriers to international mobility. Yes, higher barriers to international mobility and crowding and competition in space. There you go. I guess it's easier to go to space than it is to uh, go try to run on your own planet. Uh, <clears throat> Most experts said they believe a global economic recovery will be volatile and uneven over the next three years with just one in ten believing the global recovery, meaning the economic recovery, will accelerate. And that's over the, uh, the, the next three years. Uh, the Global Risks Report 22 comes ahead of the Davos agenda this month, which will mobilize heads of state and government 
business leaders, international organizations, and civil society to share their outlook, insights, and plans relating to the most urgent global issues. There you go. So the Davos boys will be meeting, and I guarantee you the Davos boys uh, getting ready to meet will be sounding just like the, the, the same doomsday prophets as the UN and the World Economic Forum. following rant, just some interesting little tidbits uh, showing up on the mainstream media today, coming up in one minute. Bye guys.